Alright, all the pillars of power are removed and I've got it sitting here canted on the roof now. Um, I hope this gives it justice and you can remember from other videos, but look what a difference that makes. Now, keep in mind, I haven't busted through. It's starting to give away. But like I told you, I wait till I go to the smaller ball. We're still not through with the raw material removal. Now we got a butcher about 150 to 180 in that range off the roof, all the way from the back of the guide all the way up. Now let me see if I can position you so you can get a good crack here at what I'm doing. The real key here is getting you in there to see while I'm in here with the grinder and trying not to get my dad blame hand in the way, but that's not so easy. I think I can get the point across right here. All right, let's see what we got. Now, like I said, I'm going to come around from the bottom of the guide and come up and notice how I try as the grinder spinning to keep this thing in the center without going over to the edge and hurting the walls because I sure as hell don't want to dig any kind of trench with a burr that big. All right, let's see what we got. I actually touched the guide right there. Look at that. Now I'm starting to dig a, a gully down. I can't tell you what a whop of meat. You ought to see on the top of this light the chunks of aluminum flying out of here. It's a lot. See, can you see that any better? I don't know if that lighting helps you. Sometimes I know the reflection is a bit much. Keeping it right in the center. Because I can take the smaller burr and come up on the edges and pull it in. Now, my friend, that was one hell of a roof dive. Now, let me try to pull back here to give you a perspective on it. All right. I don't know how much the video is going to really give it to you here. Um, I might can crawl on top, but as you can see, I'm getting real close. Look at that chunk. And I mean, that thing is that tall, 150 to 180 all the way back. And like I said, I got to use the bottom to level it all in and pick my dimensions however I want them to be. Now, let's see if I can get a little closer, give you a little more downward look at it. Yeah, that one there is just plain ugly. That reminds me of that ooey gooey caramel pie at old Charlie's. It's just, it looks atrocious, but it ends up beautiful. All right, so anyway, we got that part. Now we got the roof. So the raw material removal on this particular port is done. Now I got to go in there, blend it all, and pull it all in. But, I mean, you can see now. Let's come on back. There we go. Look 
at what a difference. Somewhere in here, I've got a stock Pro Comp 190, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out of the box when we're done and just let you see the awesome difference this makes. Now, the amazing thing here is, like I said, that wall ain't touched in the floor. But with all this work and all this cutting, these are 190s. They're going to end up around, you know, 210, maybe 212, 213, somewhere in that range. So you ask yourself, well, hell, why would you buy a 190? Why don't you just buy the 210? I can promise you this, that the 210 version compared to the Headbytes 210, there ain't no comparison. It is such a world of difference. It is unbelievable. So we end up with a 210cc head flowing in the 280-290 CFM range of, you know, maybe even 300. Whereas the, the 210 out of the box stock, what does it do? 250 maybe? Something like that. There's just no comparison because it's not about volume. It's about shape. Anyway, I got that level flat pretty good right there. Now, I've got to do that to the rest of them and get that done. And from this point here, when all them are laid in, which remember, i got to do the other heads. And I'm only halfway through on them. I had not even got to the pillars. but So, I'm going to be showing you some other heads I'm doing. Some big block 360s to finish them up and some other things in between while I'm getting all these matched up. Because now i got uh, another pair of heads that are about half done so i'm going to stop at this point right here and get all the other ones up to this point and then we're going to come back and i'm going to show you how i lay the roof and everything else in and pull it in and get it looking nice but these things are on their way all right 